Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpisami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Greetings everybody guys, right now let's go back to the gold market that we have uh, discussed yesterday. So as you can see market hasn't uh, given us the brand by the sale pattern, so mostly it has failed. Uh, because no reversal pattern actually has been formed on the intraday chart. So yesterday we said that since this is too risky brand by the sale, since trust is small but retracement is too big, we said we need some confirmation, we need some reversal pattern on the intraday charts, on the hourly chart maybe. And we, we will not take any position until we will get it. But unfortunately or fortunately maybe we didn't get it. And market just continue to move higher. Uh, but we also have the reserve, uh, reserved I idea on this uh, on this case and said if market will break through the 1250. The next area that we should watch for is 1264 area. This is the weekly pivot resistance one and FIB level. And that really has happened. So market has, re has reached 1264. To be honest guys, currently it's very difficult to sell to, to to make any forecasting any anticipation of the further action, mostly because uh, it will be better if we will take a look first at the commitment of traders report last week, because uh, in the common commitment of traders report we will get the numbers that has been released after non farm barrels release, and we could see what really has happened to the net uh, speculative position. Mostly, uh, currently we still. St we still keep an idea of the possible deeper retracement on the gold market by many reasons. First reason is because um, this was the first thrust up after the long term bear trend and uh, we have the significant bearish momentum on the market. Uh, second we have the reversals, uh, reversal candle on the monthly chart on the gold market. And finally we have uh, overloaded speculative long positions on the gold market that should be offloaded. for. And that let market that should let market to grow more. That's why we still keep uh, with the idea of the possible deep retracement. For example, on the daily chart, it could look as A B C D patient down something of that sort that could lead market to the level of 65, uh, for example. But uh, to get the confirmation for that, we need to see what real market will form here at the top. So we need the clear signs and some maybe uh, commitment of traders numbers that will confirm that market really turned down here. Currently it's a bit unclear. That's why all that we could do right now is to keep watching and deal with some technical steps, the tactical steps that we have currently on the market. Uh, at, the, at the first uh, glance it's really simple uh, to say that yes we could return back to the discussion of the possible further upward action if market will take it out of this top. This is really simple, this is really correct, but it's too far from the current level. So we, what we should do to do until we are waiting for a clarity. We just uh, whether we should just sit on our hands. Not necessarily we could uh, take a look at some tactical issues. For example, as we have uh, looked for this brand body, it has failed right now we could turn to some other setups. So on the forward time from chart uh, you could see that market has reached this predefined level. And if market will turn here to the downside, will form some reversal patience here. Maybe this really could become the starting point of deep retracement. Relatively, uh, we have relative confirmation for that. At least uh, some chance that it really could happen. Uh, recall what we said uh, in uh, weekly research on the New Zealand dollar, as it ha it, it had uh, previously it had the potential of the upside action to the 7150 area, and uh, that has been reached uh, today. We said that probably other dollar related currencies, dollar related assets also will continue to move higher. Um, and that really has happened. The euro currency has moved higher, Australian dollar, gold market. But right now, New Zealand dollar has reached the target. And we right now expect the downward action. So, uh, and probably, and really could happen, that uh, the reasons for that downward action will stand not in re um, due, to the uh, due to New Zealand dollar. But it could stand you some events in the United States dollar. For example, Fed meeting, 
demand on the go on the United States dollar and uh, Brexit Eve, some data uh, that could be released or something other, some some other events. So that's really could happen. Why not? Uh, that's why currently we do not uh, deny totally the idea of the possible downward, significant downward continuation. So that's that's why, guys, today we could uh, just talk on some technical issues. I said, for, for example, on the hourly chart, the last, the second leg of this uh, action on the hourly chart, you could see this one, right? The upside market has met the resistance, could be treated as the separate tr thrust up, and here we have the double ripple sell pattern. Take a look, thrust up. Close below the 3 by 3 close above and make a new top, close below. That's the confirmation of the double repo pattern. The target of this double repo pattern will be the minimum target stands at 1250 area. It's not a real significant retracement, but for the gold market, 10 bucks per contract, it's really not a small move. Uh, well, that's why it's probably today's session we will see some kind of the bouncing to the downside. Maybe it will be completed. Who knows? Maybe this double repo pattern particularly will put the foundation for some greater action. So maybe downward continuation. Uh, maybe this will become the triggering pattern for the reversal. This also could happen. But most probable that uh, our chart is too small scale for a uh, really big reversal. It's more probable that uh, this double repo could become this part of some large pattern. So if market really will turn down, uh, it probably will form something larger, some, some greater pattern here. I do not know what particular pattern will be, but probably it will happen. Let's see. If, let's just continue watching what will happen. But today, guys, we unfortunately can't offer you something more, but just this possible double repo sell and tactical trade on the hourly chart. And uh, just let's keep watching what will happen because as on the uh, New Zealand dollar, we expect some extended pattern to be formed since we have the setup on the weekly chart. It's probably as an analog of this, uh, we probably could uh, expect on the gold market something of that sort. Let's see, maybe on the weekend we get new data, new information, and uh, maybe we'll get more clarity on the situation here.